Hello guys, and welcome back to the boss tutorials And uh, we're starting the DLC bosses right now The first one is Elana uh, Which is one of the four uh, dark sisters And um, she's basically the sister of Nashandra And uh, now what, uh, what is this boss about? It's basically a more powerful version of Nashandra uh, She doesn't curse you but she summons uh, some minions uh, now she can summon three skeletons or three piglets or Velstat and uh, when she summons Velstat is not really the the boss version you know it's more of a copy of him so it's much easier to deal with uh, most people have trouble with this boss and uh, I usually don't uh, because what pays with this boss is to be aggressive and uh, you should just run through her and bash her skull in, you know? Um, sometimes that means even ignoring the summons, because... Uh, uh, honestly... Uh, well, apparently it's Velstad, Velstad you should deal with. Uh, the piglets you could ignore if uh, she teleports somewhere else, and so the skeletons. Um, it depending on where I am in the fight, I kill or not kill the minions. So we'll see how the fight goes. But uh, I don't have a kind of say like uh, yeah. Well, the, the second you see the minions, kill them or because uh, when you lock on to a minion, you don't really see Elana too much, and she will start spamming these dark orbs at you or these flames what that will destroy you. I mean, she does lots of damage unless you. Uh, you're really good at dodging and you can dodge at everything she throws at you. So, let's see what happens now. Hello, Elana. See, I, I shall rot forever and ever. Now, as you can see, lightning spears don't do damage to her. Those are the flames that that really damage you, so... Yeah, that thing is, uh, you know, the same force thing that uh, Nashandra did. It is kind of different, but it's much similar to that. And you want to move when she does the flames what because it hurts. Uh, her melee attacks aren't really that, uh, that bad, you see. It doesn't do that much damage. And, uh, yeah, now, at this time of the fight... Uh, I actually prefer to fight the minions because it's still, uh, you know, it's still close uh, to, um, to while well, we're still at the beginning of the fight, so I prefer to fight them uh, while trying to avoid uh, and dodge everything she throws at me, which is not, uh, as you can see, really easy. I was super lucky there. Anyway, that worked. Uh, it's not hard to dodge her if you see her, you know. But if you don't see what she's doing, that's uh, pretty hard. Uh, if you lock onto her, it is easy to dodge. But if you're not, uh, now that's pretty bad. So that's why sometimes I prefer not to fight the minions. And I prefer, if I can, not to lock on to the minions. Because if I do, sometimes I can see what she's doing. And uh, she's going to get me with, with something. You know, if the minions get you, it's not that big of a deal. But if she gets you, now that's worse. And uh, now, when you fight the minions... Uh, see, that thing... Uh, that she does uh, in a melee is basically uh, what she did with uh, what Nashandra did with his uh, with her sight. So you can uh, uh, avoid that pretty easily if uh, if you're not stupid or worried. Now, when she does that, she does two flames what uh, at the same time. You know, one of the right, one of the left. I'm actually trying to see if she summoned Velstat here, but I don't think she she is. Not right now, anyway. 
after you kill a minion you want to roll it doesn't matter where but just roll you know you should roll after you kill every minion because uh, see I mean uh, that was a bad roll I didn't know what she was doing but 8% of the time you're going to avoid getting it so I missed you really See, rolling right after you kill a minion is a great way not to get hit by her. And uh, now she's gone. All right. And uh, see, it's not really an hard boss. Uh, you just have to use some uh, some tactics when you fight her. It's not easy. I'm not saying it is. And um, she, I think she's kind of a medium difficulty in this game. And uh, really, what you want to do is uh, roll. It's all you need to do. Either that, or you can use uh, the dark shield that I already mentioned. Uh, the one with 100% dark reduction you can get from Wallagher. After you kill the giant lord, uh, you will uh, you will find it here to, uh, from him. You can buy it. It uh, costs not much, and uh, you can infuse it with dark. And that thing has 100% dark reduction and you can use that against the Lana. Really effective, you can just block basically all her spells. Apart from, you know, the Flame Swords, which is fire plus dark. So you will block the dark part, or part of it, but uh, not the fire one. And uh, um, if she didn't summon Velstar, this is strange. Usually, I mean, sometimes she only summons him. I have the fight where she summoned him three times. And this time she just summons skeletons. Uh, I think it's just random, but if she summons Velstad, it's actually easier for me because we have just one other guy to worry about instead of three. Uh, sure, it takes more hits to to kill, but at least you can uh, keep uh, both of them uh, in your uh, you know in your visual instead of just uh, you know hoping that she won't teleport behind you while you're bashing a uh, skeleton and just throw like. Uh, four or five dark orbs towards you while you're you're giving your back to her, and uh, you know it's uh, sometimes this fight is based on luck. Um, I honestly never had uh, too many problems fighting her. I heard that guys, uh, for someone, this is the most hated boss in the game. It's so hard, and uh, oh my god, what can I do? Well, be aggressive. Uh, that's uh, what. That's just what uh, I can. Uh, what I can say. You need to be aggressive towards her, and uh, and that's it, guys. Uh, a fast weapon would be better, uh, I think. Um, but uh, honestly, every weapon works with her, and uh, the the only important thing is dodging or blocking and uh, take care of the minions. You need to understand when to take care of the minions and when not to. Because if you have like three minions that are hanging around here and Nasha and Elana is all the way in here, you can just you know ignore them and go in bash uh, Elana. And that's what I will do, especially if she is uh, under half health. Uh, you will want to try and kill her as fast as possible. And that's my advice uh, in fighting her. So, goodbye guys, and I'll see you soon when we're going to fight Sin, the Slumbering Dragon. Goodbye. Thank you for watching as usual.